I hope you don't mind us working here. The light's absolutely perfect. Oh, why would I mind? Why, why would I mind? Well, Pierce wanted to get started on your commission right away. I admire an ambitious man. Well, I assumed it was a portrait of me. And I couldn't have asked for a more beautiful subject than Brooke. Well, I, uh, I had envisioned something a little more traditional uh, along the lines of Eakins or Peel. American Gothic? Well, just sans pitchforks, of course. <laughs> yes, but I, I'm searching for the inner Brooke. I, I'd like to bring her spirit to life. Her spirit? Yes. And I thought this was a rather classic pose. What do you think? Classic? You know, Adam, I haven't been this inspired in years. <laughs> well, it's a long way from woodsy paintings, isn't it? Yes, but raw beauty in all forms is, uh, well, breathtaking. Raw, yes. Brooke, you must be freezing. No, actually, you know, I'm, I'm really rather warm. Uh, you know, me too. I, is it just us, or, or is it warm in here to you, Adam? Why don't I get you a robe? In case there's a chill later. No, no, no. You don't have to go to any trouble. No, no. It's no trouble. No trouble at all. Ah, here we go. Oh, flannel. How nice. The warmest thing in my closet. Here. here I, just, I'd really here. like to try to keep working at him, if you don't mind. Um, Brooke, or, unless you're too tired. Oh, no. Are you kidding? I'm really enjoying this so much. I could do this all night. Thank you. Staying power, that's the perfect combination of strength and beauty. Um, Adam, you're a lucky guy. Well, I'm a very surprised guy. Hmm. Well, you don't disapprove. Well, I just, I just don't recall the last time I walked in on the woman I love posing nude in front of a stranger. Well, Pierce is an artist. And totally at one with my subject. Um, are we... In the way. No, 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 I mean, no. Oh, good. Could you move aside? Brooke, would you arch your back a little bit, please? Oh. Like so? <laughs> Incredible. I just hope that I can do you justice. Oh, <laughs> you're too modest. Um, do you mind? You know, I usually don't let anyone see a work in progress, but uh, these are unusual circumstances, so come on. Give ah, how oh, kind. What do you think? I'm, uh, speechless. I'm trying to bring out the, the beauty in her eyes and the voluptuous lips. I want to bring them to life. Her eyes? Yeah, she's, a, she's an artist's dream. I mean, she's got beautiful skin. She's got a form to rival Aphrodite. Oh, you're making me blush. <laughs> What, what did you say? What did you hmm. say? Oh, what I, did just, you say? I just said it was, it's, a, it's a stunning portrait oh. of a stunning woman. Uh, well, would you like to stay and watch? I mean, that is, if, Pierce, if you don't mind. No business calls. Uh, I'll see more of you later. Uh, or less of you later, as the case may be. <laughs> All right, well, we'll just see how long we need to work, okay? Okay. Uh, well, what should we do with the uh, finished portrait? Would you like it for your private collection, or do you think we should shock Pine Valley and offer it for the local art fair? Mm. Art shared is art appreciated. Nicely put, Adam. Keep up the good work, Pierce. I will. Mm, bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Oh, you took that well. <laughs> Did you see the vein in his neck? Did you see it throbbing? And he flexes his fingers. That's Adam speak for, I would like to kill you, and I would kill you, except yeah. there's a witness. Uh-huh, and he hides it so well. Listen, he makes Machiavelli look like Santa Claus. Well, tis the season. To watch your back. Well, I've handled worse than Adam Chandler. This really would make a nice wedding gift. Uh... Bite your tongue. Adam is to marriage the way nitro is to glycerin. Well, some women do like fireworks. <clears throat> you know, I don't even know why I'm thinking about this 
at all. I, I mean, to you, I must be crazy to think about being Mrs. Adam Chandler not once in a lifetime, but twice. Isn't that why they call it crazy in love? Why is it you two broke up the first time? Uh, well, Adam is granite. You know, he doesn't break. He never bends. And if things don't go his way... Doesn't leave uh, much room for compromise, does it? Compromise? Oh, if Adam could pay to have that word stricken from Webster's Dictionary, he would. <laughs> How about you and Janet? I, I don't, you know, I don't really know her very well. Just by reputation? I'm sure that there's more than meets the tabloids. You know, I've heard all the stories about her, but I just can't seem to connect them to her, the woman that I know. I... Well, maybe she just needed a good friend, you know, someone to, to show her the way. So, you do believe that... Uh... People can change. Uh, absolutely. Well, maybe Adam Chandler can change. Oh, <laughs> I think the jury is still out on uh, Adam Chandler. Throw Brooke down an abandoned well. Am I to assume you're joking? Okay. I'll just dash in over to Brooke's apartment, rip her hair out by the roots, and drag Pierce back to the woods. You want me to play crazed lover so you can reap the benefits. So you're comfortable with this artistic arrangement? Pierce paints a variety of subjects. What do you want me to do? Shoot the squirrels? Chop down the trees? If you can't handle it, Adam, maybe you've got a problem. Maybe. You know you ought to write a book. How to overcome psychotic anger through true love. It's called happiness. You ought to try it sometime. Happiness sometimes lead to carelessness. You drop your guard, you blink, and you lose the thing you treasure most. Don't mess with my mind, Adam. It's a dangerous place, remember? I remember. Wouldn't think of it. They say the meek shall inherit the earth, Janet. But after all of this self-improvement you've gone through, I'd hate to see you left with nothing but dirt to show for. 